Welcome to the All Out Leadership Podcast, hosted by Pastor Eric Lawson, where each episode is uniquely designed to help you live all out by bringing you practical leadership from a biblical perspective delivered in 10 minutes or less. So whether you're a business leader, serving in ministry, or simply looking to grow in your leadership, this podcast is for you. Before we dive into this week's topic, make sure to subscribe to the podcast and download the show notes at ericlawson.com forward slash podcast. And while you're at it, feel free to share the content on social media. Now, let's join Pastor Eric for this week's conversation. Welcome to another edition of the All Out Leadership Podcast. We are continuing with the story of Ahimez. And he was a messenger who wanted to take the message to King David that uh, his son Absalom had been defeated and David had great victory. But he misread the situation, and so we're going to kind of pick up and get a couple really important lessons uh, from the rest of the story. Then Ahimez, the son of Zadok, said, Let me run now, take the news to the king, how the Lord has avenged him of his enemies. And Joab said to him, You shall not take the news this day, for you shall take the news another day, but today you shall take no news, because the king's son is dead. Then Joab said to the Cushite, Go tell the king what you have seen. So the Cushite bowed himself to Joab and ran. Sometimes your leader that doesn't give you the job that you want, the promotion you think you had, that really cool assignment, sometimes they're doing it because they're actually protecting you. Joab was actually trying to protect Ahimez uh, by not letting him take a really negative message to the king. Now, a runner was often rewarded, but if the king was angered by a message, sometimes and they actually were killed. So uh, Saul's messenger, the gentleman who brought the message to David that he had finished King Saul and put him to death, he was put to death. Um, one of Saul's sons, a Sibasheth, when he was murdered, the messengers that murdered him came to David, and then he had them put to death. So uh, it's in history, some runners would actually be put to death when the king was angered by a message. So to a degree, Joab was actually protecting uh, this young man by saying, you won't take the news today. Look, you'll get another assignment, just not this one. This one isn't for you. So sometimes when you don't get a promotion, it's because your leader's protecting you. A good leader sees and knows more about you than you know about yourself. They understand your strengths. They understand your weaknesses. They know your gaps. And there's times when we as leaders, we're looking at our team, we're looking at our staff, and we go, this person's ready for this assignment. This person's not ready for this particular assignment. We're weighing out a lot of variables that the average person doesn't see among themselves or see inside of the whole picture. Over the years, I've had staff that you know wanted certain responsibilities, and I would just say, hey, it's, it's not yours right now. It, you know, it's, you're not ready, or you know, we have something else that we're going to do. And I don't necessarily explain all the reasons. Jesus didn't always explain himself to the disciples either. And in this particular case, Joab didn't lay out five points why. He just said, look, it's not yours today. Someone else is going to do it. But there's just times that your leaders are protecting you. So there comes a point that sometimes you just need to trust your leaders. And it doesn't mean they're perfect. It just means that you're going to trust their intention. Now, even if your leader gets it wrong and it's God's plan for your life, you can trust that God is still going to get it right. We see that, and we've looked at it in the story of Jesse, David's father. He got it wrong. He didn't even think David was worthy to be considered king, but God still got it right. God still got his person that he wanted to promote. So even if your leader gets it wrong, God will get it right. So just know sometimes they're protecting you. There's staff that have you know pushed and shoved their way into certain situations that I knew they weren't ready for, and ultimately it hurts them. It backfires on them because they weren't ready for it. And that's really the next thing we're going to see. So, and Ahima said to son of Zadok, said to Joab, but whatever happens, please let me run behind the Cushite. So Joab said, why will you run, my son, since you have no news ready? But whatever happens, he said, let me run. So he said to him, run. Then Ahimez ran by the way of the plain and outran the Cushite. Here's the second thing that we see. You can manipulate yourself out of the perfect will of God into the permissible will of God. There comes a point that you know how to word things, manipulate things, pressure things, work the system to where your leader finally gives up and goes, okay. And that's what Ahimez did. Joab got like, I don't have the emotional energy to deal with this right now. Go ahead. And there's times your leaders will let you do what you pressure them for 
because they just don't want to fight you. They don't have the energy left to deal with it because we just got done fighting a bunch of other battles. Joab just fought a bunch of battles. He wasn't ready to deal with this, and so he let him run. Now, what we see is that Ahimus gets there, and again, he hears the words from the king, a picture of Jesus, stand aside. Look, you don't want to be the person who is pressured and manipulated your way into the permissible will of God. Because at the end of the day, you could still be fast, you could still be glorious, but you're going to hear, stand aside. Now, we see this principle in the life of a man named Balaam. You go back into Numbers chapter 22, Balaam was a prophet, and we don't have a lot of historical context on him, but what we do see is God says, look, uh, the king of Moab is going to send messengers to you to come and curse Israel, but don't go down with them. And so he says, hey, I can't go with you guys. And so then the king sends back other messengers. And then he kind of goes, well, I can't go down with you, even if you offered me a bunch of money. Hint, hint. And so he pressures God and says, you know, hey, God. And God says, okay, you can go down, but then don't say anything other than I'm going to say over them. And what we see is that was the beginning of, of him really moving into the permissible will of God. His donkey uh, is actually speaks to him along the way because there's an angel of the Lord that's actually going to put him to death. This donkey sees this, moves out of his way. It's a great story, a lot of uh, good implications in there, and you can have a lot of fun play with words uh, on the mule that God used to protect Balaam. But anyway, the point is this. You can manipulate your way into the permissible will of God, but it will bring consequences. You don't want the permissible will of God. You want the perfect will of God. God, you know, I could change that person if you just let me marry them. You don't want the permissible will of God. You want God's best for your life. God, you know, I, I know that that new job offer, there's no church in the area, but you know what? You don't want the permissible will of God. You want the perfect will of God. And so, don't manipulate to get what you want. Don't demand your rights. Trust God at the end of the day, because when you finish your race, you want to hear well done, not stand aside. One more important lesson from the story of Ahimus next week. Thank you for joining us on the All Out Leadership Podcast. We hope you gained new biblical insight that challenged you to grow in your leadership. If you've enjoyed this week's episode, we would love your help in getting the content out farther. You can help by subscribing to the podcast at ericlawson.com forward slash podcast and telling others about it. Next week, Pastor Eric will be back with another episode. So until then, we hope you have a great week being an all out leader.